like the Athletics' Vic Tafer said late last season. Las Vegas Raiders owner Mark Davis would make his decision on quarterback Derek Carr before he hired his new head coach and GM. And he would make the decision based on what the candidates think of Carr. And what he came up with is Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler, two guys that tried to trade for him when they were with the New England Patriots. And as negotiations go on, McDaniels came out and told everyone today at the owners' meetings that quarterback Derek Carr is the guy they're building around. He didn't admit that Devontae Adams' trade had anything to do with his relationship with Carr, but the vote of confidence is there, unlike with former head coach John Gruden. Remember when McDaniels was first hired and he was asked about the Carr's extension and he said he had to see how all the pieces fit? And like I told you back then, it's going to depend on how negotiations go. And there's no reason to panic now. Something will get done. Carr said he would take less if the Raiders got Devontae Adams and they got him. So I guess they're negotiating how much less. But at least McDaniels admitted he's building around Carr. I mean, I feel Derek's fit on the team is, is as a player is obviously, uh, you know, what, what we're looking for and what we want to try to build around. I mean, look, I, you know, our relationship continues to, uh, to grow personally. Uh, we, we won't be able to do anything on the field here for a little bit, but, you know, that'll be a process. And I think ultimately, you know, you try to do what's best for the team. And I think both sides got to do what's best for, you know, it, 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 when we get into those conversations with Derek, you know, Derek's going to have to make decisions about what's best for him. That's what each man's right is, and they should do that for their families. And at the same time, you know, we got to try to do what's right for the team. And, uh, you know, there'll, there'll be a sweet spot in there, hopefully, for everybody. And we'll be, we'll be excited to go forward like that. But he couldn't quite get himself to admit that Carr's relationship with Adams had something to do with the Adams trade. What happened? I, you know, it, it's hard for me to say because, you know, when we were made aware that they would possibly move him, it really, you know, at that point, it really wasn't about a relationship that they had had. I knew I was aware of it and certainly am aware of it, but I don't think that really had much to do with our interest in terms of like, you know, we, we were looking at it from, all right, from a football perspective, does this make sense? Certainly their relationship for them, it clearly made a lot of sense for them, um, you know, to, to want to do that. But I'm sure there's probably a lot of players that have played with other guys that want to have a chance to play together and maybe they don't ever get the chance to do so. So we were looking at it from a football perspective, from the Raiders perspective, does this make us a better football team? You know, do, do, does what we we have to give up, is it is it, you know, equivalent to the player we think we're getting back in return? Um, those are hard decisions. And so we were looking at it more from that perspective. Um, really, on a personal note, happy for those two guys. I mean, you know, there's not a lot of guys that get to do that. And so um, I'm excited for those two guys personally um, because I know that they have they have a, an affection for one another as people and families and those kind of things that runs a lot deeper than football so it'll be fun to watch those two guys together come on man of course making the raiders better and adams being the best receiver in the game had something to do with it but don't try to tell us Carr and adams relationship had nothing to do with it mcdaniels pretty much brought his whole offensive staff from new england hired a defensive coordinator he was with in new england signed chandler jones whom he was with in new england and Carr's relationship with Adams had nothing to do with the trade. McDaniels has made no bones about building around Carr, but for some reason, he couldn't admit Carr's relationship with Adams had anything to do with trading for him. But there's really no shame in that because Adams is the best receiver in the league, and their chemistry will cause them to hit the ground running in 2022. Oh well, but he did tell the truth about Carr being the guy. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.